Hey there, it's your pal JP1970, and I'm coming to you with another video. Uh, it occurred to me that uh, I haven't cleaned my Smith & Wesson 9mm shield in a while. I was out shooting this a couple weeks ago. Maybe you saw that video. I'll put a link to it up here or up there or somewhere. If you want to check that out, me and my buddy Killer Turkey were out comparing this to the uh, Glock 43X. Anyway, and uh, I haven't shot it since then, and I'm getting ready to renew my concealed carry license, and this is my go-to concealed carry gun, so I figured it was time to clean it. So, let me just start with, uh, I got a few things out here on the bench. Got the gun, got some uh, empty magazines, got my mag loader, and let's see, I've got some cleaning supplies. So let me show you what I like to use, and then we'll break this gun down and I'll clean it and you can see how I do it all right so first things first I like to uh, I like to use some of these blue shop towels I like to have some cotton swabs available I like to uh, have a boar snake available and then the cleaning agents that I use and a little dusty here I use Hoppy's number nine boar cleaner and then I love this ballast doll for everything else all right, so those are the things that I like to use. So I uh, also have a microfiber towel out here. So without further ado, let's, let's clean this gun, shall we? I'll just get the gun out here. I'll get my boar snake, get my swabs, get my ballast all, put that right here, and my hoppies. So, First thing we need to do, got my towels. Okay, first thing we need to do, get the gun out. As you can see, there's no magazine. And there is nothing in the chamber. Go ahead and lock that open. So what we've got is a safe gun. And I know some people like to laugh at that and scoff at a safe gun. But isn't that what you call it? Okay, so. All right, so now what you do. In order to take this gun apart is now you have to uh, and I haven't done this for a little while so bear with me you have to you got this right here see that and what you have to do is you pull it back see how you go ahead and lock it open like so and then it's got this key right here that you don't really need any kind of tool or anything you can just use your hand and flip that open like so and then what should happen to break this down is you then just hit the release see if I'm lying here and I think you have to hit the again this is an empty gun you hit the trigger and there we go it all comes loose okay so let's keep an eye on our parts here so we have there you go. It's a little gunky. We're going to change that. And then here is the rest of the gum. Yeah, it could use a good cleaning. Take a look down in there. So what I'm going to do, what I like to do, okay, again, you can do this however you like. But the way I do it is I like to split, lay my cloth out here so I don't get this uh, ballast all, all over the place. And I just like to kind of shoot some of that down in there. And uh, I like to let that soak. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to let that soak. Then I'm going to come back here to this. And I am going to gently put my thumb there. Release that. Pull this out. And then you've got... Now I don't do a full scale take this all apart. Again, I just spray some ballast all on there and let that soak. Kind of set that aside. Let that soak. And then we're left with this. Barrel just slides right out. Okay. So we'll pull the barrel out. I'm going to spray that. Give that a good spray. Set that down. Let it soak a little bit. I squirt a little ballast all in there. And let all that soak. Okay. So now... We've got everything soaking on this Smith & Wesson 9mm shield. 
And then when I'm ready, after I let it soak for a little bit, take a look in there. I'm going to go ahead and start with this and get my here. I've actually got a, this one's just barely used. We'll just take this and go ahead and wipe that down. Wipe the inside down a little bit. Get down in there. And again, this is just kind of a superficial clean just to keep it in good work and order. And I'm not a gunsmith. I don't get down in there too deep. But uh, maybe get a cotton swab out. We'll get down in, get down in there. Maybe just kind of. Oh yeah, we got some gunk coming off. All right, so just kind of get in there and just kind of get some of the gunpowder off everything. Kind of clean her up. And uh, yeah, okay. So we got a little, little dirt on there. I'll set that aside. Get my towel back out here. Just kind of wipe down in there a little bit. Okay. Oh, I love this. Love the smell of ballastol. All right. Are you still with me, everybody? Okay. So now, what I like to do, I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. I'm going to get the barrel out. And now I'm going to wait and use my bore cleaner when I get all done. But go ahead and wipe that down. Get the spring. I don't get too ambitious there. And then same towel, same towel. Just kind of get in there and wipe that. And see, I'm going to need another cotton swab. So I get another one of these out. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I wipe what I can with this. And then just kind of. Run that cotton swab in there. Swab that pretty good. Okay. Clean that up. And okay, there we go. Another filthy cotton swab. So now we're going to reassemble. Okay, so here we are. We're back. And now we've got all the parts cleaned. Okay, and now it comes time to reassemble the gun. Everything looks pretty good. It's cleaned up again it's not a full detail clean but generally what you want to do when you put this back together is you want to kind of put it back in the order that you took it apart so I'm going to take this I'm gonna put the barrel in and now so we've got those in like so and then what you want to do is you want to take the spring the recoil spring and the guide rod and you want to just kind of put that right in there and don't get overzealous on this. Just kind of put it, clip it on the top there. Okay. Just clip it on the top. Otherwise, it's going to give you some problems. Okay. So, like so. All right. And then you take the frame, slide it in like so. Now we have contact like so. Right. And then what you want to do is you want to bring this back I'll do this the best I can with my big hands and you bring it back and then you release that you release that right there bring it down and we've got the gun all back together again this is a safe gun so we fire it and now we're all there she is good as new right okay ready for some more shooting last thing I like to do is the boar snake so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna lock it like so okay and then I like to here's my nine millimeter boar snake and what I personally like to do and again you may have something you like to do a little differently but I just kind of I'll get to the bend here and where this uh, this aggressive part of the snake is and I just kind of like to dip it down just a little bit get a little bit of that cleaner on there 
then I'm going to lay that right there and I am going to take this drop it down into the barrel and pull her through okay so I'm going to pull it through like so I'm going to do that two or three times get the barrel nice and clean and one more time just for good measure so now put this out of the way put the lid back on that set that out of the way put my cotton swabs out of the way and I am left with the gun got a little bit of excess just kind of run that rag down in there or that towel down in there and uh, and there she is so so it's cleaned it's lubricated and it's protected then what I like to do and again just point this down okay so um, so I've cleaned the barrel I've cleaned the inside of the gun and the last thing I like to do is just take a little bit of this ballastol and just kind of give it a just a fine misting on the outside take that set that aside and then let that soak for just a little bit enjoy the aroma of the ballastol and then I just like to wipe it down a little bit keeps the gun from corroding oh yeah okay so again that's just a quick cleaning of the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield my everyday carry hope you enjoyed this video Feel free to like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below. Until next time, take care, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.